Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna talk about the coronavirus, which is extremely scary. And I'm gonna explain kind of what's going on. I did a lot of research, looked up different videos from Wuhan, China, where the coronavirus has come from. There's a lot of videos and speculation that the government is not telling us everything and that the government is making this seem less severe than it actually is. Every day the number of deaths is growing and the number of cases is growing as well. It's extremely sad and rest in peace to those that have had the coronavirus and have died from it. So what exactly is the coronavirus? So coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illnesses. So the viruses can range from anything from a common cold to a severe illness that causes death. The first signs of the coronavirus are as simple as a stuffy nose, a cough, and a sore throat. It can also be seen as a mild ear infection. And it can infect humans and animals, which is extremely scary because it can be transferred from humans to animals and vice versa. This could be like end of the world type shit. So the virus is said to originate from Wuhan, China. And there are a lot of street vendors at the seafood market that sell and trade different types of animals as food. They've sold things like rats, birds, bats, snakes, and many more animals that are traded illegally. A lot of studies have shown that this virus may have originated from bats and snakes. There are a lot of videos in Wuhan, China of people eating just large bats. So they would sell these and there are so many videos of them just eating the bats. And there's a lot of videos of people just eating rats and everything. I mean, I get that we eat animals and stuff, but, but why? Why? Oh my gosh. Some of the videos I've watched have just been really disgusting disturbing and I I chose not to put them into this video just because it's you can go look them up it's just not it's not pretty to look at but obviously with this trend in China comes the viruses and diseases that these animals may have and people are eating it so that's basically where it's believed to have started is just by them eating these animals that maybe we shouldn't eat so before the outbreak even occurred there were millions of people who left Wuhan China just traveling, business, and whatnot. So they could have very well been infected with this virus and have not even known it. Because you can go two weeks or more without showing any symptoms of the virus, which is so terrifying. There have been 50 confirmed cases outside of Wuhan, China. I mean, it's spread to over 16 different countries. In total and rising, there's over 6,000 known cases of people having this virus. And as of yesterday, over 130 people have passed away from it. I was actually doing a lot of research and I found this video and it's someone in Wuhan, China. I'm not sure if this is real or what, but apparently it was taken down from social media and people have been reposting it trying to share it and it keeps getting taken down. So hopefully this doesn't get taken down on here, but this is a nurse in Wuhan, China warning us that the government is making this virus seem way less severe than it actually is. And she actually says at the end of the video, do not trust the government. <laughs> Sorry,我都下班,一下班了。馒头都已经不行了
就看到一个好生生的人，叫他慢慢的都都不行。所以你们在屋里一定要做好防护，千万千万不要等到时候相信政府。我觉得都是全部都得要靠自己。灵魂。我目前还在武汉汉口这个疫区，我向大家汇报一下，目前我们整个湖北，甚至全国的疫情情况，现在已经有九万多人次。So with the virus, they do know it's an airborne virus. So if someone sneezes on you, if someone coughs on you, you can get it by. Touching a doorknob with the virus on it, then rubbing your face or eyes. And a lot of people wear masks in China, so there's a lot of studies that believe the virus can enter through your eyes too. There's this guy that lives in the quarantined area, and he goes out on the street. You see, it's a total ghost town there. And this guy puts on two different masks and goggles just in case, just to walk around and go to the supermarket to get food. I live in Wuhan, and today I'm going to go to the shop. Apparently, this mask actually doesn't do much, but two masks is always better than one. Can't forget the most important thing and the silliest thing. Got my gloves. I'll wash these when I get home, just to be safe from all the stuff I'll touch on my way. So there's a lot of people quarantined there that are stuck living like this right now. There is footage of people who caught videos of people with the coronavirus, and the symptoms are so severe that they are collapsed <laughs> onto the floor. And you see the people dressed in their quarantine outfits coming and helping them. It's so sad and so terrifying. And I was watching a lot of news outlets, and a lot of them don't show videos like this on there. So just a warning: this can be a little disturbing. There's nothing too crazy in it, but it is pretty scary. That video with the Uber driver was also scary because this guy had he knows he has the coronavirus and he gets in the taxi trying to go to the hospital and the person in the back is what I'm concerned about. He didn't have a mask on or anything, so he was extremely exposed in that little car. To the virus, so this video just shows how easily this virus can spread. This next video is pretty disturbing. There's a man under a blanket. He looks as if he's having seizure-like symptoms, but this is actually part of the coronavirus, a very severe symptom called the cytokine storm.
So in this case of the coronavirus, this is a surge of overactive immune cells into the lungs, which later results in death due to suffocation. So right now they're looking for a cure and I actually saw an article, I don't know if this is true or not, stating that the Chinese government has admitted that they're having trouble taming this virus and they need the US's help. So the US is now trying to find a cure as well. We do need to take precautions. I'm thinking about getting a mask myself. I don't care if I look dumb or what, but I do not want to risk getting this virus. Just make sure you guys take care of yourself, stay safe. If this video gets taken down, then that really does show something. I guess the best way that you can prevent getting it is just washing your hands, not touching your face, staying away from people who have the symptoms. And if you do have the symptoms, you have to be honest with people that you have them. You can't just hide it just like that guy in the taxi car. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this video was informative. I hope you guys stay safe. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more updates. Also hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post and I will see you guys in my next video.